If you're thinking about pre-ordering the new Fallout tabletop RPG by Motivius, but you're still on the fence, this video is going to go over some of the highlights of the core rulebook. Now, I pre-ordered the game table bundle, and with that you get the book, but Modifius was also kind enough to include a PDF copy that they email you right away at checkout. Now, I've had some time to dive into this book and flip through some of the pages, and I thought it might be helpful for some of you guys if I just shared my initial thoughts. Greetings Vault Dwellers and welcome to the Wasteland. This is your Overseer speaking Three-Eyed Townie and this is Fallout 2D20, an unofficial community channel dedicated to the Fallout tabletop RPG by Modifius. Now my goal with this video isn't to cover everything. The book is over 400 pages and it's loaded with technical information on world building, the core mechanics, lore, and so much more. I'll be recording more videos in the future, breaking down the core mechanics of the 2D20 system, combat, crafting, character creation, and also some GM tips to get you started. But for now, I just wanted to give you an overview and my first impressions from reading through the book. Naturally, the core rulebook is going to give you all the information that you need to run and play this game. It covers in concise detail the 2D20 system and how it's been adapted to complement the Fallout world. And I have to say, Modifius has done an excellent job of translating the game into a tabletop format. The way their 2D20 system has been modified to fit the way a Fallout game plays is stupendous. Now, my tabletop background is primarily Dungeons & Dragons, so I have to admit, I was a little apprehensive about starting a new system. But the way Modifius has laid this out is super comprehensive, giving you thorough explanations of the game mechanics, and then giving you in-game examples walking you through it. So if you're coming from a D20 standard system like myself, don't worry. You're going to pick it up right away, and honestly, you're probably going to find it refreshing to try something new. And if you're new to tabletop games entirely, the core rules are well written enough that you're going to be able to follow right along and wrap your head around how this game works. The character creation process is simple and straightforward, but it's loaded with options. Just like in the Fallout games, you're not picking a class that you're committed to. You're able to jump across the spectrum, picking out different perks and skills and abilities that best suit the way you want to play the game. Instead of picking a class, you pick an origin. You can be a Brotherhood of Steel initiate, a ghoul, a Mr. Handy robot, a super mutant, a survivor of the wasteland, or a vault dweller. Each one of these origins comes with its own advantages, but also potential disadvantages and complications, making for excellent RP moments, but also keeping the game balanced. The game utilizes the special system for your stats, and you get to tag certain skills that you excel at. And of course, it wouldn't be a Fallout game without perks, allowing you the ability to custom tailor your character even more. Your origin is going to help you decide how to play your character. It's going to define certain parts of your background and your disposition on the world. But nothing is set in stone. Like maybe you are a Brotherhood initiate, but you've become disenfranchised with the Brotherhood's conquest or reclaim technology from yesterday, and you want to start your own path. You, your other players, and your game master are welcome to shape the world around you as you see fit. The equipment system is incredibly robust and offers a huge opportunity for customization with your character. So this means you can tailor your character to a specific playstyle that you really want to play. Like maybe you want to be the kick down the door and solve your problems with force kind of character, or maybe you want to be the smooth talking use charisma to talk your way out of a perilous situation, or maybe you want to be the silent killer that no one sees coming. The way Modifius has incorporated crafting into this game is seamless and extensive. Any Fallout fans are going to recognize the multitude of mods that are available for weapons and armor. Do you want to craft shadowed combat armor? It's in there. Do you want to mod your baseball bat with barbed wire or add spikes or chains? You can craft it. All the weapon mods for both melee and firearms are in there, giving you tons of options to tinker with and explore. But crafting isn't just limited to weaponry and armor. There's also complete tables for cooking so that you can find those recipes and make your favorite foods from the wasteland. Inventory is rounded out with all the different chems that you would expect to find in a Fallout game. And of course, like I said, it wouldn't be Fallout without scavenging for junk so that you can use those materials and components to make your mods. Now the game takes place in the setting of Fallout 4, just before the Soul Survivor story begins. This gives you the opportunity to explore the Commonwealth and the Wasteland surrounding. The book also provides you with great detail on all the different factions that are currently residing in the area. It gives you information on their background, their mantra, and how to incorporate them into your game. The book also outlines in detail notable locations and their infrastructure, giving you an idea of their general purpose, where you might find these places, and how you can incorporate them into your game as well. 
So this means that you could take your players from Diamond City to a general atomics facility in search of necessary technology. Or maybe you're going to go pay a visit to Nick Valentine's detective agency. Or maybe your players fortify a red rocket truck stop against an oncoming horde of ghouls or super mutants. The book provides you with enough background to create an infinite number of scenarios and quests for your players to explore. If you're thinking about running this game for a group of your friends as the Game Master, there's no need for another book. The core rulebook provides a complete breakdown on how to GM this game, along with some information on different philosophies that you can use for decision making. This really helps for setting the tone for different scenes and encounters that your players can go on. And in the back of the book, you're going to find all the stat blocks for all the different NPCs and creatures that you'll encounter here in the Wasteland. Now, after you've familiarized yourself with the gameplay and all that goes with it, Modifius has included a quest to get you started. It's broken down into three acts with different scenes, so this also helps to give you an idea of how you can start building your own quests. So, that's the general breakdown of everything that's included in this 400 plus page book. While this is a lot, and it's certainly more than enough for you to run your games, you're not limited to just what's in the text. Just like any Fallout game, you're welcome to mod and homebrew this to your heart's content, making exactly the kind of game that you want to play. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope this video helped give you a general idea of everything that's in store for you when picking up this game. And if you did find this breakdown helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. In the future, I'm going to be doing more videos breaking down the core mechanics of the game and other aspects that are covered in the book. And for any of you that have already pre-ordered the book, what are your initial thoughts? Were there things that you wish you saw in there that just weren't, or what's got you most excited? And as always, you can find us everywhere on the internet. We have a Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, we even set up a Discord dedicated to this community, and I'm going to leave links for that in the description below. If you are interested in pre-ordering the game and you want to see everything that's available, I'm going to leave a link to Modifius' online store in the description as well. In my last video, I did cover all the different items that are available for pre-order, so if you want to take that out, it's on the channel here. Thanks again everyone for watching, and please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and of course, I'll see you in the wasteland.